The new 8th generation VW Golf GTI, GTD and GTE models have just been revealed, all boasting more power and more tech than before. This is what you need to know about them. And to save more than £900 off the new Golf, go to whatcar.com. The Golf GTI is a better multitasker than most, traditionally combining its agile handling and considerable performance with looks that are almost as understated as those of any other Golf. So is it the same story with this new Mark 8 version? Well, it pushes things a little further than usual by adding a gaping front bumper vent to the twin exhaust and red front grille piping that we've come to expect. There's also those lights on the grille and there's an illuminated bar. But in some areas, it actually looks more subtle than ever. But which is the best looking hot hatch? Is it the new Volkswagen Golf GTI, the recently updated Honda Civic Type R, the Renault Megane RS or the Hyundai i30N? Vote in our poll to let us know. As recently as late 2018, Volkswagen planned to use mild hybrid technology to boost the GTI's acceleration and efficiency, but ultimately it instead decided to update the existing turbocharged 2.0-litre petrol engine. This now produces an extra 13 brake horsepower in standard form, meaning it matches the 241 brake horsepower of the outgoing GTI Performance model. The successor to that car, which is likely to be called the Club Sport, packs 296 brake horsepower. According to the Head of Technical Development Operations at Volkswagen, the mild hybrid tech just didn't feel like the right fit for a GTI, because the main advantage it brings is during engine off coasting, meaning you're encouraged to drive as economically as possible. And that's not quite the priority for GTI drivers. As with the Mark 7, you'll be able to specify a six-speed manual or seven-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox. And while Volkswagen is still to release performance figures, a 0-62 miles per hour time of around 5.5 seconds seems realistic when the latter setup is fitted to the standard GTI. The decision to continue to offer a manual gearbox when so many rivals are abandoning them was apparently to appeal to enthusiasts. And for the same reason, a limited slip differential is now standard to boost traction out of corners. However, for the first time, there will be no three-door GTI model, mimicking the decision to drop this slow-selling body style elsewhere in the Golf range. Similarly, the interior closely follows the formula of other top-spec Mark 8 Golfs. And by the way, you can watch our full review of the new Golf by clicking on the link at the top of the screen. You get two digital screens and a voice control system that recognizes natural speech instead of requiring you to remember specific commands. But there are bespoke sporty touches too, including red on-screen graphics, a flat bottom steering wheel, and the traditional tartan trimmed sports seats. Plus, the manual gear lever retains the traditional golf ball look. Other standard equipment includes keyless entry and start, lane keeping assist, automatic emergency braking, climate control, and ambient interior lighting that lets you choose from 30 colors. Meanwhile, the list of options includes 19-inch alloy wheels in place of the standard 18s, and the Akrapovic sports exhaust system, which so dramatically improves the sound made by Volkswagen's sporty T-Roc R SUV. In addition to the GTI, Volkswagen is readying successors to other hot Mark 7 Golfs, with the diesel GTD and plug-in hybrid GTE both due before the end of the year. The GTD features a new version of Volkswagen's 2.0-litre TDI engine that produces 197 brake horsepower, and that's up from 184 brake horsepower from before. It's available with a dual-clutch automatic gearbox only and will have a claimed range of more than 500 miles from a full tank. The GTE has received a hike in output over its predecessor to make a combined 242 brake horsepower and 295 pounds-foot of torque. It gets a turbocharged 1.5-litre petrol engine making 148 brake horsepower and an electric motor making 114 brake horsepower. The latter is powered by a 13 kilowatt hour lithium-ion battery. With almost twice the capacity of the battery in the previous GTE, it allows for around 37 miles of electric-only running. Both the GTD and GTE use the same chassis, suspension and dynamic setups as the GTI. A new version of the four-wheel drive Golf R, which hikes power from today's 296 brake horsepower to 329 brake horsepower, will follow in 2021. And there are even plans to introduce an R Plus with around 350 brake horsepower. It seems likely that this flagship model would cost around £45,000, undercutting other mega hot hatches such as the Mercedes-AMG A45, while the price of the standard GTI is likely to go up to around £32,000 to reflect its extra power and equipment compared with the previous version. That was everything you need to know about the new Golf GTI, GTD and GTE. If you found this video useful, then why not give it a like? If you've got any comments or opinions, then let them be known below. And make sure you're subscribed so you can watch all of our new car reviews when they go live.
Go to whatcar.com to get a great deal on your next new car.